I, I, I want to hear more about your background. I mean, you, it, it, so you, you grew up in the Caribbean. Mm. You met, you, is, and then you were in Kenya, and now you're in Hampton Roads. Can you share with us about your journey as far as where you started and how you ended up here? Through a very, you know, convoluted route. But maybe the shorthand <laughs> is, so a, a lot of my, I've lived, um, in a lot of places, um, you know, so with my mom, when when her friends call her, you know, it used to be, well, where is she now? You know, or, you know, like what, what part of the world, you know, where, where is she? Um, and so um, the, the quest for getting an education and then afterwards, you know, sort of pursuing what I call dream job after dream job, that just led me to a bunch of places, but that that's what guided my path. Um, so for I, my undergrad was in the Virgin Islands. And so, so I grew up in um, Antigua, it's like a really small island, 100,000 people and, um, and very much under the British system. So then uh, for, for undergrad, I went to University of the Virgin Islands, um, and it's it's in the Caribbean, but it, because it's the USVI, it's it's quasi it's it's under the US system. So that was sort of you know where that journey started. And so undergrad, I was like a chemistry major. And as I thought about what I wanted to do in the future, I wanted to just get very much more applied. I didn't want to be in a chemistry lab anymore, inhaling chloroform fumes. Although I guess I shouldn't say that, but that did happen. <laughs> Um, and so, um, so, and I, you know, I've did, I've did stints of internships to kind of get a taste of things like chemical engineering, you know, at, a, at MIT one summer, but I, I ultimately ended up going to the University of Wisconsin, um, because they were doing some cool work. There's cool work happening, uh, with water. Um, and that was just something that I wanted to dig into more. And so, um, you know, so that's how I ended up. I ended up I ended up in Wisconsin to do my my PhD, and then after that, you know, as a grad student, um, I, I my project was one where I was essentially managing like a small water system in a basement somewhere, and I had a bunch of undergrads who were working for me, and I thought, man, you know, what would be really cool as like a job after you know. You know, because, you know, as a grad student, you know, the, 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 that wage sucked, but ultimately I got my, I got my wish. And so after grad school, I went to New Jersey to work with American water and, um, you know, and so for a couple of years, so I, I did water and then I, I left American water after about four or five years. That was like an amazing job, but then I wanted to kind of get a little bit better sense of the built environment. And then around that time, there's like a lot going on in sustainability. So I worked with Campbell's Soup for a bit. And then I met a friend over there who was very, who was actually from Jamaica. And she, she was like really, in, and she worked with Microsoft, but she was really interested in working, you know, doing something to connect back with, um, the young people in Jamaica. And so I helped her, you know, get her nonprofit started. But I started to just figure out new ways to then, um, how do I take what I know how to do um, around just all of the water and environment kinds of things, but still be useful to um, a mar markets beyond the US. And so that interest, you know, then for a few years, you know, I, I lived in DC and I started to do um, a lot more international consulting on my own, but that's then kind of what set up, you know, sort of being in position to then head to Kenya as a next logical step in my evolution. And um, maybe then to kind of cut it back a little bit. And so my family um, had an entirely separate journey because, you know, like the, at some point my, my parents, um, came to the Hampton Roads area because I had other cousins who were in the military. And I don't know, for some reason with school and maybe just because of how they were placed um, before and after the military, like family just started to kind of come here. And so then my parents at some point, you know, we, you know, the whole green card process and citizenship, 
then they're like, well, huh, you know, we, we know people here. Why don't we just come here? So that's what they did while I was doing whatever else I was doing, traipsing around the world. So did you, so, did you go to high school here then? No, Indiana? high school okay. was in Antigua. Yeah. You got it. Okay. So, so I came to know Hampton Roads because I had family here. But and until, so last year, I, I was actually living here. But before that, it was more, I was just coming in and out to say hi to family and hang out during you know um holidays so so in terms of even understanding the business environment and all of that th that's really that you know i really in earnest that kind of started maybe late last year wow interesting so a lot a, a lot of people um would say wow you've been to a, a tremendous amount of places as someone who describes where you live now what do you where do you tell people uh, I think, you know, saying Wisconsin, going, you know, being uh, a University of Wisconsin, my guess is Madison uh, mm. grad, you know, people know where that is. When you, when you say <laughs> Hampton Roads on the map, or you, you say New Jersey, I think people know where that is, right? You be, you, you say the Caribbean. I, Beach. I, I think um, what's interesting, it's funny that I had this conversation. Um, so I, I'm between Virginia Beach and Norfolk um, yeah. a lot at the moment, you know, because, you know, there's like a, a business entity in Norfolk, but then I'm also, you know, in Virginia Beach, both sort of living in business set up there as well. And I think because of the um, touristy nature of Virginia Beach, folks, I think, I, I think it's a little bit more prominent to the non-military folks. So East Coast folks know Virginia Beach quite a bit. As far this is what I gauge. <laughs> yeah, I feel like a moniker is not what they know, right? They know either Norfolk or Virginia Beach. So if I was in your position, I would name one of those two things, not say something else. And so it's 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 always interesting oh. as the world traveler, and yeah. you're way more of a world traveler than me. <laughs> people know cities, not monikers. They don't know mm. these, you know, silly names of places, you know, and it's, um, yeah, I don't know where, where's Hampton Roads. Well, Hampton Roads is actually, some, yeah, 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 that's true. You know, it's some body of water between Hampton and Norfolk where the yeah. two bodies meet. I had to really look at that a couple of times to get it. Like, yeah, like where, yeah, <laughs> I agree. It's, it's, it's always interesting just to, to see what, what, what seems to gel with, with, with other people and not. Are you stuck um, at your home office? socially distanced coffee shop or your fancy all bricked out corner office wondering why no one can see your business and sales are all over the place? Sounds like you need a pro. That's why I developed the Anomaly Academy. Insert clever copy here. Oh, I guess I was supposed to put something else there. Oops. You can grab access to the Anomaly Academy now at zachmillersays.com slash anomalyacademy.